Hi, this is Larry from That's What's Cooking, and today I'm going to cook probably one of my favorite things to eat. I don't cook it a lot, but and I don't know why, but um, it's called chili verde, and I don't always cook with pork, but today I'm going to use some uh, thin slices of pork. We're going to mix it with some green chilies and a green sauce, and then we're also going to um, have a beef product that I'm going to use uh, with uh, Rotel, which I've used before. And uh, one other surprise, um, I am actually going to attempt to make some homemade uh, tortillas. Um, found my dad's old tortilla press that he had, and um, we got some of the masa mix, and we're going to go ahead and uh, see how easy it is and how they turn out on the homemade tortillas. So uh, that's what's cooking. cook it with some onions of course and some seasonings and also the green chilies that we have but um, let's go ahead and put the pork down first put some seasonings on it put some onions and we'll put the green chilies in so there's a little bit of pork going on there basically the green chili, um, but it's usually associated with the pork, so that's what we got going on today. We're going to go ahead and throw some pork there. We'll come across with some onions, like we always do. Onions, white onions, I don't know. People use different kinds of onions. I've seen some people cook a lot with red onions. We just like the white onions, so that's what we're doing here, and might as well put them all on. Got, I've cooked with these before. These are the Otega green green chilies. They're diced. I drain them. Uh, you don't want a whole lot of liquid out here. So let's just go ahead and get them on. And since it is called Chili Verde, we're going to go ahead and, um, and put quite a bit of uh, green chili in here. testing the food just to see how how it tastes as far as with spices um, just a continuous taste I would like to make sure it gets right so we've got our green, our onions we've got our green chili we've got some spices we've got our pork it's gonna give it a good mix and let it brown there's one thing about pork though is that you want you want to make it Make sure that it is cooked. That's, that's one thing. So once again, uh, we'll probably put them underneath the domes. I love my domes. They they're tremendous. Do a tremendous work out here on my flat top, and they're sure they really are big. So we're just going to go ahead and brown this, mix it up, and we'll probably put them underneath the domes, and uh, we'll come back and we'll see how it's cooked. few minutes. Let's go ahead and move them off. We'll probably add some spices. Oh yeah. See that brownness? I tell you what, with pork, with pork, I always like to get a nice, a really good, even almost to the crunchy, the crunchy part, like, like you know, like, almost like carnitas. Um, that's what they call some of the pork that they can really uh, fry up real good makes it nice and crunchy. Sometimes I, I like to get it like that. I, I just love that pork taste that's uh, kind of fried. So we're gonna go ahead and, and keep doing that. I'm just gonna add some more spices right now. Probably put under the domes another few minutes and then we'll go ahead and add a, 
some of our finishing touches on there. So we'll go ahead and add some more garlic salt, like we normally do, and some pepper. I'll put it beneath the domes, and then we'll we'll be back and look at it. Okay, we've had them underneath the domes. I did add some more spices. Let's go ahead and take a good look at these. Oh, they are really starting to get that nice brown sear on everything. That's the way I like pork. That is the way that I like pork. Okay, tell you what, we're just gonna mix this up a little bit here. Spread it out a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and put some of the finishing touches on here. Okay. We use this sauce a lot when my wife or my daughter are making um, green enchiladas. It's called a Las Palmas green chili uh, enchilada sauce and I love it. I love it and I wanted to try it out here on this. So I just opened up a can and we're going to go ahead and pour it right on top. I think I used the whole can yet, but let's go ahead and give it a nice mix and see. Maybe I'll maybe I'll need the whole can. Oh, it smells delicious. It smells delicious, but I tell you what I'm gonna do. Got that in there. Let it sit in a little bit, let it cook in a little bit. I'm gonna add my secret ingredient just because I can. And I, I every time I, I, I think of green chili, I always think of lime. Lime is my secret ingredient. Just myself up some. Everybody does it to their taste. Let's go ahead and throw some fresh lime on here. I love lime. So we're gonna go ahead and a little bit. You may not like lime. You may not have to. It's actually, uh, it said it was Angus, so I don't know. It was on sale. It looked good. Um, I like Chuck Rose. Chuck Rose has um, a little more uh, fat striations in it and stuff like that, so it's generally going to come out um, more tender um, than if you got something else that's pretty lean. So I like a little bit of fat in there in the meat. Uh, that way, when I'm cooking, it, uh, I can always count on the meat being a little bit juicier. So we cleaned it up, we've got some oil down, and let's go ahead and get the beef down. Yeah, that's fun. 
hear that? <laughs> That's my pops. Yep, yep. He's uh, he's here, and like I said before, he keeps me in line. Uh, learned a lot from him. He's a good cook, so uh, I know he's uh, used to putting in. everybody's seen the tortilla dough so we'll just go ahead and make a little ball we'll put it on the tortilla press and this is the, they, they they tell you to use parchment paper wax paper I guess you it, so it doesn't stick and everything so we're gonna go ahead and put it there we'll give it a 
flat. I hope it works. I've never used it, so um, let's see how it comes out. Well, I'll tell you what. We did get one. It's a little small. We're going to put it on the, on the press, and we're going to make another one, okay? So let's go ahead and grab maybe a little bit more. A little bit more. Let's go ahead and put it on there. And we'll press it down. There we are, a little bit bigger. These look like some some thick tortillas. I guess maybe we can go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and make maybe a couple more and just experiment. Like I said, it's a it's an, it's an a trial by error right here, but that's okay. That's why we're here. Let's put a little bit more dough and give it a nice squeeze. Here we are. Now these look pretty thick. I think we can go ahead and maybe mush them out a little bit. Now I didn't put any oil down or anything. It's like on a medium heat. So we'll go ahead and move them around a little bit and see how, they, see how they're cooking. Well, I, I've been kind of experimenting with them and they are cooking. We did try some, they, they taste good. They taste like, they taste like tortillas, except I think I gotta get a little better, a little better on the thinning out uh, part of it. But we'll just go ahead and call these gorditas, which means um, the little fat ones. So we're still gonna eat them, we're still gonna use them, but it's a technique. Um, somebody suggested maybe using a rolling pin and stuff like that. I want to use the press. I think we just need to get a little better at it. But anyway, this uh, sums up what we're cooking tonight. Um, we had our chili vinegar with the pork. We had our beef with uh, rotel and the tomato sauce in it. And uh, we took everything in. We made some um, tortillas, gorditas. But uh, I think it's going to be good. We'll put ahead, uh, go ahead and show you everything that we've uh, put together and, uh, and then make up a finished product. It's everything that we put together today. Um, we have the chili verde, which is the pork, and we cooked it with some onions, some diced green chilies. Um, we used the Las Palmas uh, green uh, chili enchilada sauce, and of course, my secret ingredient, the lime. It came out delicious. We also have the chuck roast, which is a tender cut of uh, meat because there's more fat striations in it, and we used the rotel and some tomato sauce, and we also did put in um, some um, garlic pieces and stuff like that and it came out delicious. Here's my experiment, but I tell you what, after a few little tries, yeah, it came out pretty good. So I'm pretty excited to go ahead and try uh, my homemade tortillas. We've got some beans and homemade rice and this is what we're having uh, for dinner. I'm gonna go ahead and make up a plate and we'll show you a finished product. Well, this is our finished product that we have. We have our chili verde that we cooked up with the pork. Uh, the green chilies, the uh, green chili sauce, and we have our beef that we cooked with Rotel, some tomato sauce, some garlic pieces, turned out really good. We have some beans, some homemade rice, and my uh, gorditas, my homemade tortillas. So this is where we're eating tonight. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. I, I, I already tried a few pieces of everything, and I think it turned out pretty good. So... Um, that's what we got, and I think everybody's gonna enjoy it. Of course, this one's for my dad, so he gets to uh, he gets to eat first. And uh, thank you much. We'll see you next time.